right now. No verdict from the pit of hell on your life is final. Esther chapter 2. Are you there? Esther before Job, I believe, before Sam. Esther chapter 2, verse 21. You are there, say amen. In those days, while Mordecai sat in the king's gate, he was a gate man. Two of the king's chamberlains, Big Fan and Teresh, of those who kept the door were angry, were wroth, and sought to lay hand on the king of Haseros. That is, two of the king's most trusted security men wanted to execute him. And the thing was known to Mordecai. Mordecai got to know about it. He told it unto Esther the queen. And Esther certified the king thereof in Mordecai's name. When inquisition was made of the matter, it was found out. Therefore, they were both hanged on a tree. And it was written in the book of the Chronicles before the king. What were the two people trying to do? The two trusted security men of the king. What were they trying to do? To assassinate the king. Who found out? Mordecai, when he found out, what did he do? He told Esther, what did Esther do? Esther told the king, what did the king do? He killed those people. Chapter 3, now look at chapter 3. After these things, after what things? Huh? After the after the after the this the, the episode of these two people trying to kill the king, it was found out by Mordecai. Mordecai told Esther, and Esther reported to the king, and the king assassinated these people. After these things, did the king Ahasuerus promote Mordecai? Promote Haman for doing what? The son of Hamadetha, the Agagite. And advanced him and set his seat above all the princes that were with him. There is a manipulation here. Something just happened. Something, something just happened. The person who did something just happened now. Something just happened. Something has just happened now. So somebody just did something. Somebody, somebody, some a, a person scored a mark and it was awarded to another person just now. Him man is a is a devil. Mordecai, I'm, I'm in a hurry. Let's go. Let's go. All right, chat verse two. And all the king's servants that were in the king's gate bowed and reverenced him man. For the king has so commanded concerning him. But Mordecai bowed not. If not you, Unko, you just carried my promotion. You just, you just collected, you just manipulated. By witchcraft, by sorcery, by charm. You just took away my, my elevation. And you want me to bow up for you on top of that. But Mordecai bowed not. Then the king's servant which were in the king's gate said unto Mordecai, why, why transgressest thou the king's commandment? It is, and it came to pass when they spake daily unto him and he hearkened not unto them that they told him and to see whether Mordecai's matter would stand. For he had told them that he was a Jew. We don't bow for people like that. And when him and saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence then was him and full of wrath. And he thus come to lay hands on Mordecai alone. It's, it's, it's too small for me to deal with Mordecai. For they, for they have showed him the people of Mordecai. Wait for him and sought to destroy all the Jews. One person offended and everybody must be punished. That devil is a bastard. Throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus. Even the people of Mordecai. Look at verse 7. In the first month, that is the month Nisan, in the twelfth year of King Ahasuerus, they cast the poor. They went before the oracle. That is the Lord before Haman. 
from day to day and from month to month to the twelfth month that is the month Ada they went before an oracle to determine the best time to execute the Jews and Naaman said unto the king of Aseris, there is a people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all their provinces of thy kingdom and their laws are diverse from all people neither keep they the king's laws therefore it is not for the king's prophet to allow them if it please the king let it be written that they may be destroyed and I will pay me I will pay 10,000 talents of silver for their execution verse 10 without the king asking any question he took his ring from his hand and gave it to Haman the son of Hamadetha the Agagite the Jews enemy and the king said unto Haman the silver you, you don't need to pay I will pay the silver is given to you the people also to do with them as it seemed good to thee this man was acting on that charm they told you there is a people that need to be killed no investigation see my ring and the ring of the king is a signature they call it signet signet ring it's from there we get signature anything that is sealed with the, the seal of the king is an irrevocable law as far as the laws of the median and Persian is concerned and this king didn't know that his wife is from that tribe charm under spell that is the reason why many are where they are today in life because of a certain Haman that is manipulating a certain personality but today the charm shall spoil say that amen like a believer say that amen like a believer say that amen like a believer I am not going to be able to read everything because of, for the brevity of time. But this thing is so insightful. And I want to bring out a few of the issues that we are dealing with in this passage. A few of the issues. And, and, and it deals with so many of us seated here. The first thing you will know is that Haman is called the Agagite. Agagite. How many of you remember King Agag? The one that was the king of the Amalekites. And if you read in 1st Samuel 15 and 16 when God sent Saul to execute the Amalekites and they spared the king Agag and Agag when Samuel saw Agag he hewed him into pieces now the, 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 a, a commentator said that a Haman is a descendant of Agag they call him Haman the Agagite so he was about to revenge for what they did to his people there was a wiping out of the Amalekite and now it was his turn to wipe out the Jews many of you seated here today what you are suffering is not your fault it is an ancient controversy there is an ancient equation the devil want to want to solve using your life but I stand here by the anointing of the Holy Ghost and the mantle of God on my life every ancient controversy on the life of anybody here by the anointing of the Holy Ghost it is cancelled in the name of Jesus every satanic equation occultic equation that Satan wants to use your life to balance he wants to use your life your marriage your destiny and want to use you to balance an occultic equation an ancestral controversy I stand here by the anointing of the God who sent me to reverse that equation to reverse that balance if you believe shout yes today I decree you shall not die a death you know nothing about you shall oh, yeah, 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 yeah you shall not suffer a suffering that you have no hand in I prayed for one young lady some time ago and she told me that after a while she be, she's, she's a Christian coming to a church such as this and the husband is an occultic man and her father is an occultic man the father is in the occult the husband and married her in the occult 
and it was revealed to her by God actually I believe it was the husband that told her that the man didn't marry her because he went to marry a wife the man married her so that they can use her to set to an occultic equation they want to use her to set to an equation to balance it's an occultic balance sheet probably the father had done something in the occultic realm and they needed somebody from this other side so he gave his own daughter to an occultic man so that they can use her as a sacrifice to balance equation are you hearing what i am saying here today that was what Haman wanted to do Haman the agagite the descendant of agag the king of the amalekites that israel wiped out under heaven in the days of king saul he said now it is my turn to wipe these people out if not why will somebody commit a crime and you want to wipe out the whole people it's because he wanted to settle an equation some of you here today you are not yet married because the devil wants to use you to settle an equation you don't yet have a child because they are trying to balance an equation you are you are, you are fall, falling sick today and that and tomorrow because the enemy wants to use your life to balance an equation you labor but you can't see your labor you have money but you don't know where the money is going because the devil is trying to balance an equation but i come here today to announce that controversy is over i said that controversy is over no devil shall use you shall use your marriage shall use your finances shall use your resources to balance any equation in the name of jesus lift up your right and say in the name of jesus no devil can use me to balance any equation in the name of jesus no controversy from ancient times can work against my life i refuse it i refuse it i refuse it somebody shout fire shout fire Shout fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I stop here, I'm all right today. What your four forefathers did is not permitted to affect your life today. What your father did is not permitted to affect your life today. What your mother did is not permitted to affect your life today. What your great grandfather did is not permitted to affect your destiny today. I stand by the mantle of God on my life and I cancel every satanic influence, every satanic transfer, every satanic transfer in the name of Jesus. You shall not be a victim of a satanic transfer of aggression. You shall not be a victim of an occultic transfer of aggression. You shall not be a victim of a witchcraft transfer of aggression. If you believe that, say loud, Amen. Take your seat. Monkey the, the walk, baboon the chop. For what? Mordecai delivered the king. If a coup is being plotted, somebody uncovers it. That person is a significant person. That person is not to be taken lightly. Yet they push Mordecai aside and promoted an occultic man that had no hand in delivering the life of a king just because he's in the occult i am here today to announce to somebody any human being diverting your promotion any human being diverting your promotion any agent of darkness Diverting your resources, your riches, your wealth, your good luck, your favor. Today, I bind that attempt in the name of Jesus. What they diverted from you by the time the service is over, it shall be reverted back to you. It shall be reverted back to you. Your favor is coming back. Your health is coming back. Your wisdom is coming back. Your resources is coming back. Your life is coming back. If you believe, shout it. Yes, yes, yes.
one man said he was driving on the road one day and he saw an elderly woman bent like this walking with a walking stick bent like this and the Lord said that, that woman is alive at the expense of young people when it is time for her to die another young person has to die then it should, should prolong her life when it is time for her to die another young person has to die then she will prolong her life I want you see people selling shop side by side shop side by side this shop is closing down this one is flourishing are you hearing what I'm saying and she might have the audacity to come and ask you how market now is diverting your trade by occultic mechanism today the fire of judgment shall land upon the head upon the head of any human agent anywhere they be found they are taking over your health you are falling sick every day and they are healthy you are losing money and they are gaining money you are losing favor and they are gaining favor i am here by the anointing of the holy ghost to announce to you today the diversion is over the diversion is over in the name of jesus in the name of jesus every account where they diverted your money where they diverted your favor where they there is a woman here every time she gets pregnant by the time the pregnancy is five months it will mysteriously disappear the pregnancy is five months it will mysteriously disappear you may not see any bleeding but you can't see the pregnancy there is a satanic diversion if that woman is here run out quickly run out quickly but i am here to announce to you every man every woman that is diverting what is yours diverting your possession diverting get out get out get out thou foul devil i bind you 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 in the name of jesus i take authority 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 no more diversion i like you to help me walk to seven people tell them no more diversion no more 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 diversion no more diversion no more diversion no more diversion no more no devil no witch no wizard can divert your money can divert your favor can divert your resources hear me today under the next 24 hours there is somebody hearing the sound of my voice what was diverted shall be reverted every occultic maneuvering every 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 occultic chemistry that they did every agreement they did everything they walked in the realm of the spirit that is favoring your, the diversion of your things today it is unworked by the blood of jesus it is unworked by the fire of the holy ghost in the name of jesus in the name of jesus somebody say no more no more no more I put their system under pressure I put their system under pressure by the anointing of the Holy Spirit by the fire of the Lord no more diversion no devil shall divert your pregnancy no devil shall divert your promotion no devil shall divert your harvest no devil shall divert your professed property no devil shall divert your possession if you believe that shall no more no more no more look at somebody say no more say no more 
Say it is coming back. It's coming back in this season. For somebody hearing the sound of my voice, before the month of October expires, you will be amazed at your financial resources because it is returning back home, back home, back home. The money is coming back. Your health is coming. Some time ago, one man and his wife were incapacitated on a wheelchair, incapacitated by stroke. They got stroke at the same time. Man and his wife. The moment the power of God came on them and they were healed, the stroke transferred back to sender. The person who diverted their, their health, bam, became stroked and died without recovery. One day a man was like in a service such as this. He had it happened some months ago. A young man came here and, 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 and then the Lord said he had an accident that was caused by witchcraft and that the scar on his face was going to disappear. And on the spot the accident scar disappeared. But in a particular meeting, that scar did not only disappear, it was transplanted on the face of the one who caused the accident. Are you hearing what I am saying here today? I have the audacity by God to tell you that the traffic of your resources is over now. The road is blocked. The road is blocked. Every spiritual traffic agent is under arrest right now. They are arrested and sent back. In. No more trafficking for your resources. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout yes! Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. The king was manipulated. The king came under humanic manipulation. Oh, orchestra. Oh, manipulation. And he was making decrees without knowing. Any human being that has been manipulated because of you some of you your husband has been manipulated against you and he's doing things against you and you are wondering what is happening some of you your boss in the office is being manipulated against you your earthly father your mother being manipulated against you because of wicked agents of this world by the speakings of the blood of jesus by the ministry of angels by the fire of the holy ghost this manipulation is over forever over forever over forever over forever him and went to consult the oracle for 12 months concerning the Jews hear me brothers and sisters as you are seated coming here probably somebody went somewhere on your behalf but I am here to announce to you what they have been doing for 12 months under the next 12 seconds is cancelled in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I don't know for how long they have been working against you. I don't know how long the manipulation has been. But today it is cancelled. Everywhere they have paid money because of you. Awarded a contract. An occultic contract against your destiny. Against your marital issues. That contract is hereby revoked. By the blood of Jesus. Somebody shout fire. Somebody shout fire! Somebody shout fire! Yeah, yeah. I stand here by the authority of the one who overrules when man rules. God overrules when man turns. God overturns when man shadows you. God overshadows. Are you hearing what I'm saying here? I am. I am speaking on the behalf of that God. Anywhere a contract has been awarded against your destiny, saying you should not be married where you should marry, you shouldn't have a child where you should have a child, you shouldn't be intelligent. Every such occultic contract by the blood of Jesus today it is revoked, it is reversed. They say you should not enjoy your marriage, you shouldn't enjoy your children. Today the contract is revoked. Somebody shout fire. And they put the name 
names of the people on a list. Call it hit list. Eh? So all the Jews, Haman, start with Haman, kill him first. Then all the Jews. You know, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the realm of wickedness, the hired us as in the whole cab, what they call hit list. People to hit. Hear this. Any list that carries your name, anywhere that list is, to say it's a list for you, whether it's a physical hit list or a spiritual hit list, and people have been paid money to eliminate you, paid money to frustrate you, paid money to arrest your destiny. Today, that list is set on fire, and the holders of the list they are set on fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, somebody shout fire again, 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 again. I tell you, fire will begin to burn the, the holders of this list. Fire will begin to burn the executors. And like they came and met the father of that man and said, They have given us his name, they will come and meet you and beg you. Because they will start they will start dying while they are alive. Are you here? Say amen. If you are here, say amen. If you are here, say the loudest say amen. You know what the Bible says in Daniel chapter 6, verse 8? It says there is somebody open to it. Daniel chapter 6, verse 8. When Daniel was being put, put in the lion's den, there is something they say. And we are dealing with the same kingdom. This is the same kingdom. It's the same kingdom of Persia and Media. It's the same kingdom. Yes. O king, establish the decree and sign the writing that it be not changed. To the law of the Medes and Persians, which altered not. Which altered not. Sign the writing. Sign it and let it be sealed according to the law. You see, if the law of the Median and the Persian, even if that law, if a, if a man mistakenly sentences his mother and it is signed according to that law, it can be cancelled. It was that kind of law that Herod signed when they said, Ask me anything, I will give you, daughter. And the gear said, The head of John the Baptist. He regretted it, but he couldn't reverse it. Oh, if I knew this girl would have asked for the head of a man, I wouldn't have told her, ask me anything. So there are such laws in those days. It was this kind of law. The king removed his signet ring, attached it to the document that Mordecai brought, Haman brought, and said, you say you want to bring the money to kill the people? Don't bother with your money. I give you 10,000 talents of gold. Go and execute it. It was sealed. Mordecai, get ready to die. All the Jews, get ready to die. But today we are here to say no verdict is final. Ah! No verdict is final. No verdict is final. No verdict is final. About your life about your family about your finances about your health about your destiny there is no demonic verdict that is final there is no law that cannot be changed help me tell seven people no verdict is final 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 Ay, 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 ay. Take your seat in the presence of the Lord. It is concluded. Mordecai should die. Esther should die. Everybody is dead. As far as Haman is concerned, the matter is sealed. But there is a God in heaven who overrules the judgment of men. There is a God in heaven. <laughs> he said, Who is he that saith it? And it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not. He said, God frustrated the tokens of liars. He make a divine smart. He disappoints the device of the crafty. And their hands cannot perform their enterprise. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. So I shout it. Yeah! an 
ancestral verdict on your life whether there is a witchcraft verdict they have decided whether it's a witchcraft verdict an occultic verdict a marine kingdom verdict a verdict from your ex-husband ex-wife whether it is a verdict a verdict from the pit of hell a medical verdict they said HIV AIDS they said cancer they said a leukemia I don't care where the verdict is from I am here to announce to you no verdict is final in the name of Jesus by the authority of God by the anointing of the spirit no verdict is you may be seated here the enemies are looking at you and they said what they did is working oh what they did is working can you see she doesn't have money again what they did is working can you see she's not pregnant now what, what, what we have done it looks like it's, the thing is working oh, can you see the husband is not talking to her again but they, they are about to be taken by surprise they are about to be taken by surprise hey man get ready for surprises they are about to be taken by surprise your hey man is about to be taken by surprise somebody shout yes take your seat It is not final. It is not final. They say your fallopian tube is blocked. They say you have no capacity to be to get pregnant. It is not final. They say you have zero zero sperm count. They say you have no capacity to give pregnancy to impregnate your wife. Here this that verdict is not final. They say you are too old to marry. No man can marry again. That verdict is not They say you are owing, you are in debt, you are in debt and you cannot pay you are going to the prison. That verdict is not Justice delayed is not justice denied. Are you hearing what I am saying here? It may come late, but it will still come. I am anointed by God to tell you this. Some of you have lost your hope. You have agreed with the devil. That what the devil says is true. That you are going to remain like that till you die. That everything will continue like that. But God sent me to tell you. No verdict is... I remember a man when this church was under one a year old he was still in Maraba church before he moved out of town tall man huge big his family his father was owing the bank some millions at the time we were talking the loan the, 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 the money they are owing the bank had become 125 million where will I pay it from he had hypertension he had hypertension his life was under pressure pastor what am I going to do where do I get such money to pay bank let us trust God we prayed and trusted God suddenly he went to the bank after a while and asked them how much is the balance of the loan that you people will say it again they checked into the computer and checked the system they said it is 125,000 naira he said what did you say he said check the system again they checked the system checked it everywhere the same bank nobody paid nothing but God went and readjusted the zeros God went and readjusted the dot he just removed the dot and moved it by about six zeros and said this is what you are owing now hear me brothers and sisters when I when, when I he, he couldn't believe it. He couldn't believe it. I, I was finding it hard to believe it. Although I was the one who prayed. I thought God was going to give him a big contract. Then he will have the money to pay. But God adjusted. Hear this. 
I am here to announce and prophesy to somebody. A divine rearrangement is taking place right now. A divine adjustment is taking place right now. Because your verdict is not final. Your verdict is not final. Your verdict is not final. If you believe that, shout yes! Take your seat. One, one man, after we prayed for the child here, it was sickle cell anemia, SS positive, SS. We prayed for the child and we said, go to the hospital and check she's now negative. He went to the first place and they said, what did you come from? The child is SS now. See, SS. He said, it is a lie. That is not what God just told me. He went to another place. They did the test. They said, the child is AS now. From SS to what? AS. He said, that is not true. It's not what they told me. He went and did it again. They said, your child is AA now. <laughs> Everywhere he went, God changed something. Every other place he went, God changed something. He went to the final place, he changed permanently. He did it again. AA, 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 AA. Are you here? Ah, you don't understand what I'm talking about. No verdict is. Hey, say it again. No verdict is. Again. No. Again. In your life. In your marriage. In your finances. In the work of your hands. Concerning your prosperity. In your career, in every realm of your life, no verdict is. I have to round off now. I have to round off now. I have to round off so we can pray. They fasted for three days. Esther said, go and fast. They said everything has been sealed. Everything has been signed. Let's fast and pray three days. We already fasted three days this month. But oh, we fasted October 1, October 2. Look at your neighbor. Say it's settled. started the king cannot sleep again the king couldn't sleep oh yes he couldn't sleep again in that night could not the king sleep all of a sudden the thing is getting sweeter now the king could not sleep again Esther chapter 6 verse 1 you, you, you can note that at home the king could not sleep he was awake normally when the king cannot sleep bring musicians and play music this time no musicians give me the book of the record he began to check record ah he saw where Mordecai did something what has been done to this man that they saved my life they say nothing what after the fasting I clear king I clear <laughs> The spell is about to be cleared off your eyes. Uh, the spell is about to be cleared off the eyes of anybody. They have put any spell against you. Look at your neighbor say, I clear. Uh, the person that was meant to marry you and they put a spell on his life. What happened today? I clear. place you were meant to work and they couldn't give you the job. After today they are going to call you because what happened? I clear. Hey! Hey! Look at three people say I clear. Hear me today. Hear me today. Anybody in charge possession of your favor 
after today they lose their sleep they lose their rest they lose their peace until they release your favor somebody shout yes he opened the book of record any file belonging to you that is hiding today your file is coming out every record of your seed sown in the realm of the spirit every record of your labor for God every record of your investment that the enemy is hiding today your record is coming back your record is coming back if you believe shout the loudest say amen take your seat all of you all of us we have file in the spirit now long ago long ago the old account was settled long ago and the record is clear today when he washed my sins away the old account was settled long ago long ago oh long ago the old account was settled long ago and the record is clear today when he washed my sins away the old account was settled I want to announce to you today that record about you that they have been hiding that the record of your reward that has been hiding that record that thing that 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 file about you that they have been hiding in the realm of the spirit the record of your labor for God your financial investment your seed you have been sowing in the church that the devil has been hiding today I pronounce upon you your record is recovered today is the day of your remembrance you shall be remembered you shall be remembered you shall be remembered somebody shout yes not only will the verdict be cancelled your record shall be retrieved and your reward shall be says King Ahasuerus. Hey man, come. What should I do to the man I want to honor? Hey man said, who will the king want to honor except myself? To the extent I have manipulated him, the king is asking me to prescribe my honor. Okay? King, you know what to do? One of the most important men in the kingdom carry him let him carry your very second official car the second chariot in the kingdom the man you want to honor will sit on that chariot then the most principal man of the king will, 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 will be holding the chariot and going and announcing through the town this is the man the king has honored this is the man the king has honored this is the man the king has hung. This is the man. Hey! You know what? The greatest shock of Haman's life. King Ahasuerus said, What you have prescribed now, exactly do it for Mordecai. <laughs> Use anything from it, and you are that man that to be walking in in the town, holding the chariot, and announcing your enemy, announcing the one you hate, announcing the one you want to. Ay, 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 ay. You are that man that 
to walk around and announce him and him and should he die should the ground open the man I want to kill the man I want to roast I have already prepared a gallow to hang him they say I should be tracking while he is riding and Haman began to lead Mordecai this is the man the king has honored this is the man the king has honored this is the man the king who is the one the king has honored I am the one the king has honored where is the man the king has honored I am the one the king has honored I say who is the one the king has honored I am the one the king has honored somebody tell me who is the one the king has honored I am the one the king has honored I say who is the man the king has honored I am the one the king has honored who is the one the king of kings has honored I am the one the king has honored the king has honored. I am the one. The where, king where, where, honor. where, where, where is the man the king has honored? I am the one. The king has honored. I say, where is the man the king has honored? I am the one. The king has honored. Where, where, where is the man the king has honored? I am the one. Where, 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 where is the man the king has honored? This is the one. The king has honored. I say, who is the one? The king has honor. Who is the one the king has honor? I am the one the king has honor. Who is the one the king has honor? I am the one the king has honor. Who is the one the king has honor? I am the one the king has honor. Who is the one the king has honor? I am the one the king has honor. to you as a round of remain standing the mystery that happened to him man, is about to happen to your worst enemies Hi. exactly what they wish for you they will see the opposite of it Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. hear this your enemy in this season will see your promotion he will be he will be compelled to assist in your celebration assist in your announcement and he will have his own embarrassment in the name of Jesus God is about to mesmerize popularize yeah, yeah, rise. every enemy that gave a verdict on your life they will get the greatest shocker the greatest shocker the greatest shocker of their lives what they don't want to do for you God will force them to do it the kind of recommendation they don't want to give you God will force them to give it the signature they don't want to sign for you God will force them to sign it somebody said yes hey what is the final thing the gallow he prepared himself he prepared it for himself Bible says he that digget the pit shall fall inside he that taketh the sword shall die any man who dug a pit for you as you escape it they will be buried in it any man any woman who dug a gallow for you they will inherit the gallow they are prepared for you in the name of Jesus and you get what happened Mordecai became the prime minister the position he was meant to get that Haman got initially when Haman was hanged they took Mordecai to that position because it was his own from the beginning this man only manipulated his way there 
Look at your neighbor. Say, all hope is not lost. What is yours is yours. And you must get it. Ay, 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 ay. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Maybe the enemy thought he has gotten you. He thought he has inherited your possession. He thought he got your inheritance. But that devil is a liar. The devil is a bastard. Devil na liar, go ready. Ah, devil na liar. When I say uh, the devil is a bastard, yes I know. The devil is a bastard, yes I know. The devil is a bastard, yes I know. The devil is a liar, yes I know. The devil is a liar, yes I know. It's a liar, 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 liar. Yes I know. The devil is a bastard, yes I know. The devil is a failure, yes I know. The devil is defeated, yes I know. He was lost, yes I know. He will never succeed, yes I know. In your life, yes I know. In your mind. Yes, I know. In your finances, yes, I know. In your destiny, yes, I know. The devil is a liar, yes, I know. Liar, 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 yes, I know. Liar, 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 It is not too late for you to deliver your children. It's not too late for you to marry your husband. It's not too late for you to occupy your position. I don't care how it's going to happen. But let God be true. Let all devils be alive. What Haman took from you after the elimination of Haman, you will recover your possession. What gave Mordecai this audacity? He had a covenant relationship with God. We know they bow for people. For the tribe where we come from. Jews, we know they bow. No. He knew his God. The people that do know their God. They shall be strong. He knew his God. This is your condition today. In order for this verdict to be cancelled finally no shaking. Look at your neighbor say no shaking. And don't let any report, any medical report, any report from any office shake you. Don't tell your neighbor say no shaking. Ah, they that trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion that abided forever and moveth not. No shaking. No shaking. And some of you today, you need to renew your covenant with God. Lift your hands, people, and thank the Lord because of the cancellation of the verdict. 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 Lord, we worship you for cancelling the verdict. We worship you. Master, we worship you. We adore you. We magnify your precious, holy, wonderful name. In the name of Jesus. At this moment, I'd like you to pray. The devil is a record keeper. Him and the Agagite. Descendants from Agag. You wipe out my people, I wipe out your people. Now, any record Satan is using against you today, cancel it by the blood of Jesus. Hold on. That is prayer number one. Next prayer. Anything in your own life, any sin, any mistake, any error, any weakness you have committed, knowingly or knowingly, that the enemy is you may be using to tie your life down. Ask for forgiveness from God and cancel.
cancel the consequence by the blood of Jesus lift up your voice now and pray speak to God every record from your from my fathers from my mothers from my ancestors every record the enemy may be using against my life my destiny my ministry my family father I ask today that the blood of Jesus will blot out this record cancel this record and I highlight this record blot it out oh God blot the record out oh God today let this record be cancelled 